Morning, everybody. How's everybody's Monday treating them? Okay. Start the day getting the kid to school, so didn't get nearly as much done as I wanted to. Had a and I've not been able to get to my creative project for the day, which is a little disappointing. But I'm done with my work. So when I wrap this up, I'll be able to walk the dog straight into it. Good solid An hour and a half, two hours of work done before the family could pull. They feel like today was productive. So, so how about we, uh, oh, first off, why don't I let you see my face? There I am. Although for some reason, this scene doesn't want to play nice the game behind me. We're gonna edit it live. I'm gonna edit it. Good. Show us the game. This really doesn't want you guys to see it today. What are we going to do? Is it, wouldn't it be nice if things would just work, you know, the way they're supposed to work? All the time, and ending like... Oh, we're going to work. We think we're going to work. Nope. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, you can see my face. I don't like we're going to be staying on this. But, you know, I should probably make sure that it's visible. Of course. Ah, there we go. That explains it. You know, this is, of course, as soon as I kick, as soon as I in to the scene, it doesn't want to. All right, come on. Why are you? I wanted to show you the sound mix. Not the game itself, the sound mix. That's why it wasn't. There we go. Ah. 
doing it live. Doing it live. That, this game just doesn't want to, doesn't like to play nice in the, like full screen. If I go in full screen, it doesn't. No, I don't remember the exact reason why. I think it's because in full screen, it just wouldn't play nice. With the streaming. So in order for me to be able to have any function, oh, it's because I, I yeah, I couldn't actually. If I needed to click out, I couldn't click out. So that's one. It's a, it's a tiny little snip. Some people, you know, take issue with you know not being able to mint things in other programs when you're playing a game. I guess the game devs just don't want you doing other things when you're playing their game. Who's hosting? Zoe. Well, thank you for that, Zoe. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. So, well, let's see. How was my weekend? My weekend was nowhere near as productive as I wanted to be. We did get some stuff taken to our storage shed. But I, I did I did hang out with the wife and I did dog training. That did really well. So I'll show you, but right now he's back there sucking on filled with peanut butter and chicken liver and it's thing sounding, so I'm frankly very glad these are in right now so I don't have to hear it. But yesterday I had an encounter with people. Lots and lots of people. So I did church and he did really well. He sat he actually laid down underneath me and stayed for the entire service except for when the one point took a break and we went down to get a drink for my wife. Just kind of used that as an excuse to give him a little exercise a little bit before the actual sermon started. So he did that really well, and I took him outside for a little while, and he went, he did his stuff. And then we sat in class, and he, for a class in the class, we were in there for an hour and a half, and he made it, like, well, the final ten minutes before we finally started to get puppy bored. And everyone who has a puppy knows what I mean by puppy bored. It just, they get to a point where they're like, I'm done. I'm done. All done. So, hold on. I'm adjusting the mic so I can stand up a little straighter. Anyway, so almost over, and I thought, oh, he's doing great. Let's we need to get some stuff from Kroger. Let's go to the store, and that was the mistake. There were so many people at the store, and he did great. Actually, he did phenomenally. There was just this 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 person who was convinced that the dog being in public meant that that they could talk to the dog, and that that was perfectly fine. And I don't know if you've ever encountered a. Sorry, I can really hear him. I just wanted to make sure the mic couldn't pick him up. But I don't know if you've ever encountered a service dog in public, but that dog is not there for your benefit. That dog is there for the person's benefit they are working for. That dog's working. You see a service dog in public? Don't talk to it. Don't look at it. Don't interact with it. If you want to talk to the person, right, figure out if first if it's okay. This guy comes up to me in the middle of the store and just just will not take his attention off the dog. Just coming from a distance, I could see him coming, and I was cornered and pinned in between people. I couldn't get my cart around to get out of there. And there's a big, massive guy, and he's just talking to, to, to Groot and will not stop talking. And I'm sitting there trying to say, don't talk to him, he's working, but I just... I have this thing when I'm ten, when I start talking to other people, my voice just suddenly drops off. Now I, I can't project. So in part, he couldn't hear me because he was so loud. But I just kind of started like tugging and kind of starting to try to yell as much as I could. But I, you know, yelling for me doesn't really do that much. But it's it's frustrating when people don't realize that. They're just making things worse. And he thought, he thought, oh, it's a cute little puppy who's out in public. I want to talk to it. And he just didn't. He's like, it was oblivious to the patches on him saying, this is a service dog in training. This is a service dog. Don't touch. I mean, there's a patch on that says, don't, no eye contact, no touching, no talking. It straight up says it on there. And people just completely. And then we still weren't done. So I had to go sit at the pharmacy and wait for a while for medicine. It was a fiasco. And then my wife drove me home, I fed myself, and then I slept for like two hours in the middle of the day. I, and anybody who knows me, I used to never nap. Napping was bad for me. It was always 
always bad for me. And now, yeah, I just get this, I get this, this overwhelming exhaustion just compels me to go rest. So, and as a result, I did not get to get, I didn't get to spend most of yesterday being creative at all. Frustrating because I have a project that, I mean, it's a self-imposed deadline of Friday, but I voiced it out loud to the people who I'm supposed to deliver it to. So I kind of, kind of need, and I want to get, I want there, the reason why they came to me for the project is because the first author they were working with was having an issue miss, m making deadlines. And I don't want them to start off with me, with me missing a deadline. So, we shall see. We shall see. Um, so, a couple of stream things for you. Oh, hi, Zoe. How are you? Uh, sorry, papers were on on the other computer. I needed to turn it off. So, Today, normal, lately I've been playing a lot of RimWorld on my own, but uh, I kind of wanted to you know, play some other things on the stream. So I want to finish this game. So we're going to continue playing this game. Chellis Mike will be back tomorrow. And, and not this week, but I think next week we're going to do a change, a shuffle to the schedule. So we'll see how it's going. But we're going to start another RimWorld Hot Potato and have more people involved. And while only... So it's going to be myself, Charles, Mike, Zoe, and then three, four other Pixel Sharks. Uh, I kill Omega, who does stream, but he doesn't want to stream Room World. Uh, Magnus, who can, but choose, usually only does it on Extra Life. Uh, Jane, uh, married to Magnus. He also, she won't do anything on Extra Life. And then Silver Zodiac, who will stream. So it'll be Charles, Mike, myself, Silver Zodiac, and Zoe. Uh, Zoe will just be on. I'll be guys. And the other three are going to record theirs, and I will post them as VODs. And I'll run the night of. So I'll have ask them to kind of do theirs earlier in the day so they can load the VOD to the share folder, and I can download it, do a quick edit on it, and then upload it. Hopefully, this. So that's next. Hi, Killer of Oz. How are you? Oh, I should use this opportunity. I have. I using Stream Puppy, I was able to get some things set up so I could. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> now that one is actually supposed to play when Zoe comes in, but for some reason the trigger on that computer isn't triggering. It's fine. I'll figure that out later. But hi. So yeah, look for some and some ch shuffling to the. Like, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep playing as much RimWorld, but uh, RimWorld will definitely be the thing on uh, Monday, at the very least. Uh, what's that extra life thing? Well, that extra life thing, funny you should ask. I'll just post a link. Uh, got, extra life is an event that happens at the in November, usually the first weekend after Halloween. And it's gaming for charity, and anybody can join. You can That, that link right there that I just posted is a link to my page. The other member, the Pixel Sharks, is a group of of mostly veterans or active duty members and their friends and family, who screen. We we work together to to fundraise individually for our hospitals. I'm supporting Providence, Alaska, the Children's Hospital at Providence, Alaska, because that hospital saved my niece's life twice and got my nephew a diagnosis that he desperately. Needed. So every year I fundraise for that, and you can find out more at that link right there. I need to actually update it with personal information. But that's where you can donate. And so that little bar, the I did it. I thought I fixed this. Sorry. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I actually fixed this on stream. Like I mean, I, I with with this thing open, I fixed it so that whenever I trigger that, but for some reason, whenever I trigger that command, and I think it happens even if I type it. Yeah, for some reason, whenever I type that command, it triggers the the, the change to the to the end signal. I'm not really sure. So anyway, yeah, I've raised over seven thousand dollars for hospitals, uh, most of it for Providence, and it fundraised throughout the year. And that's what that thing is up there, right there. So I'm almost forty percent of the way through. People tend to donate more closer to the event, but I run it throughout the year. And one of the streams a week is going to be completely dedicated to doing extra life. So you can see there'll be more. I'm going to change the overlays to more of the 
Extra Life ones. I'm working on an interview with my sister to talk about my niece, and I have some of the Extra Life videos to play. So, things like that. Probably Wednesdays. We'll see. All right. So, I suppose probably play the game. I suppose. Of course, it's not showing. Game. Game doesn't play well with when you're doing other things. So let us continue. We are on day three, I believe. Yeah, because she had another. Yeah, she had another dream. Oh yeah, and I can cloak now. I can make myself visible, which is good because I need to go to that church, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to want to see me at that church. Okay. If you have any more questions about Extra Life, please feel free to ask about uh, my hospital or the other hospital, how you can do it. Yes, I, uh, I'm i a part of the Fade to Karma community right now. And Why as... Dr. Parison asked me to tell you to meet him in the morgue. He's done with the remains from the recycling center. All right, thanks. I'll go have a look before I pay Ethos a visit. Okay, so... Yeah, as uh, in return for streaming it day of, the, uh, the developer gave people who are part of the Fate to Karma community keys to stream it. So I started streaming it the day it was released. And I enjoy it. It's an interesting game. If you like mysteries, if you like sci-fi noir, if you like the point-and-click motif, there's a lot of different things that you can... There's a lot of different... And it kind of... There are different, they've kind of innovated on it a little bit, iterated a little bit. So like the, these things down here, which, you know, being, you know, analytical, assertive, or empathetic, leading to the different skills that you develop over here. And the way, the ways you interact with the game. I like that. Go to the clinic, go down to the morgue. Somebody's well, Lennart, it's been quite gross working with you. Hello <laughs> again. I've got a present for you, Agent. Is that so? Yep, right here on this tray. If you're a fan of minced meat, I've got a bucket full of Leonard out back, too. I think I'll pass on that one. Good choice. The seasoning is subpar, to say the least. You take your jokes way too far, Doctor. Now, what have you found? Well, obviously, the poor man was shredded. Fortunately for him, it happened when he was already dead. Yeah, I came to the same conclusion. Can you tell me anything about the cause of death? Not much with the remains in this state. No signs of toxic substances, but that obviously still leaves a lot of options open. Noted. So what's this in front of me? Oh, yes. I noticed a pattern on Leonard's skin. Likely a tattoo. These are all the pieces I could find. I'm not sure how they fit together, but I kept them in case you wanted to have a look. All right, I'll check them out. Oh yay, we get to do a build a puzzle out of human skin. Pixel sharks? I don't know. I'm not. I'm playing this blind, so I don't actually know how far we've made it. Let's play puzzle. This is just, this is disgusting. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is disgusting. So you can't really turn the pieces. Those go together, obviously. Move these down here. Oh, uh, that goes like that. And this goes like that. to bet you this goes right there. That goes right there. And goes right there. Oh, it's too. Yep. This is. Did I say this was disgusting already? Because this is really good. That goes there. 
case I wasn't clear. Disgusting. Ugh. Huh. Looks like Leonard had this symbol tattooed on him. I'll copy it to my notebook. Lovely. I had some more things to ask. Shoot. Do you know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher? She also calls herself Melinda. I know who she is, but that's about it. She's not a patient. She's not? Even though you're the only doctor in town. I wouldn't read too much into it. As far as I know, she's a young, healthy woman, and she moved here just a few years ago. She, she is gross. She not have needed any medical care since her arrival. It is. It really is. It is disgusting. I, I agree. What do you know about Leonard Dahl? Polite and well-spoken fellow, judging by the few times I met with him. All right. What did you meet with him about? Well, typically just routine work when someone hurt themselves in the recycling center. Seems like a hazardous workplace. I hear about accidents occurring there almost on a weekly basis. What's your opinion on the Free Church of Epos? I try to steer clear of those people. Any form of superstition, religious or otherwise, is of no interest to me. So this is how Leonard's tattoo turned out. Interesting. What does it mean? Your guess is as good as mine. It looks like one of those runes Maya liked to litter the town with. Oh, wait, that's her doing? Yes. As I understand it, she was a major voice on the building committee. Huh. I've been wondering where all those symbols came from. Yeah. Me, personally, I like the aesthetic. I think it gives the town a distinct look. Definitely. The tattoo doesn't look runic to me, though, but I'll keep your theory in mind. You never know, it could be. I don't think he'd be interested. Hey, he didn't be interested. Do you know who this is? Yes, that's Melinda, one of the teachers in the school next door. I found this among Leonard's remains. Ah, it's safe to assume it belonged to him then. Agreed. Any idea of what it unlocks? None whatsoever. I finally got my hands on the murder weapon. Ah, uh, yes, it definitely looks the part. Where'd you find it? At the scene of Leonard's murder. Any prints or traceable remains on it? I'm afraid not. Well, at least it ties him to Carl and Maya. Either they're all victims of the same murderer, or he killed them himself. Yeah, always something. I should... Are you familiar with the conduit? I think I already asked him about terrorist organization. What of it? Well, have you ever heard about it? still being around i'm sure the ideology still thrives in places the lure of artificial intelligence will never be fully diminished right but you're not aware of anyone being more than a little interested if you're asking me would i but currently yes, okay. i already asked him all this now stop hitting escape Guthron. that's enough questions for now okie dokie That should match. Damn. Forgot to ask. I had some more things to ask. Shoot. This. What's your opinion on the Free Church of Epos? Sorry, I keep forgetting to turn I this thing try on. I try to steer clear of those people. Any form of superstition, religious or otherwise, is of no interest to me. I need, I need a reminder to myself. <laughs> Turn the heart thing on when you talk to people, Guthron. <laughs> Do you know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher? She also calls herself Melinda. I know who she is, but that's about it. She's not a patient. She's not? Even though you're the only doctor in town. I wouldn't read too much into it. As far as I know, she's a young, healthy woman, and she moved here just a few years ago. She may not have needed any medical care since her arrival. What do you know about Leonard Dahl? Polite and well-spoken fellow, judging by the few times I met with him. All right. What did you meet with him about? 
Well, typically just routine work when someone hurt themselves in the recycling center. Seems like a hazardous workplace. I hear about accidents occurring there almost on a weekly basis. I think he's clean. Ask him this one again. So this is how Leonard's tattoo turned Oh, and I should ask about the murder weapon. Interesting. What does it mean? See if they get some kind of a reaction. Your guess is as good as mine. It looks like one of those runes Maya liked to litter the town with. Oh, wait. Yes. As I understand it, she was a major voice on the building committee. Huh. I've been wondering where all those symbols came from. Yeah. Me, personally, I like the aesthetic. I think it gives the town a distinct look. Definitely. No. That's cool. Yes. I finally got my hands on the murder weapon. If he reacts uh, to it at all. Yes, it definitely looks the part. Where'd you find it? At the scene of Leonard's murder. Any prints or traceable remains on it? I'm afraid not. Mm. Well, at least it ties him to Carl and Maya. Either they're all victims of the same murderer, or he killed them himself. Yeah, always something. Okay. He's clean. That's enough questions. Okie dokie. Hey, the, uh, the artist guy's sitting here. Feeling ill today? Any soreness or fever? See if you can get treatment for something ordinary. The doctor gets so creepy when he's stuck in the morgue all the time. <laughs> I'm well, thanks. But I'll do my best to keep things brief down there. You look sick. You look sick. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. Anything changed in here? Nope. All still the same. I don't have any business in the school. Of course you do. I should check on the baby. Oh my god. Rolf looks busy. I'll leave him. I want to talk to him. Don't care if he's busy. I want to talk to him. Where is status? Three point eight. It's fine for right now. Carl and Katarina's unborn child. According to Katarina, this illegal womb tank was necessary for her and Carl to have children. Sad, really. Still plenty of nutrients left. Okay, baby's okay. Let's head back out. Finished. What do you know? He was painting fractals after all. Hmm. <laughs> Change of venue? Yes. This is where the recital will take place later. Great acoustics. Ah. Can I have a little foretaste? Very well. <clears throat> the same wind, my dear. The same wind. Shook the walls of Jericho. Dried your tears. No Lee to be found. No trust, nor joy. This fire you were set to guard, and I to rest by its side. Your books and notes in disarray it all seeks to delay us while you face increasing chaos that was great i love the ending you're too kind 
far as poetry goes, it wasn't the worst. Yes, those are members of the church. I don't recognize any of them. Bird in the wind. My mouse. A neat row of candles, probably for ceremonial use. Hi there. Greetings, and welcome to the Free Church of Epos. If you wish, you can enter our public prayer room to the right for some silent contemplation. All right, thanks. What about the rest of the church? The other areas are off-limits to non-members. I have official police business, though. Special Agent England. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. You're gonna need papers. This is a diplomatic sanctuary. There's no time for that. I'm trying to solve a triple homicide. I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. But I can assure you that there are no murderers here. I'd suggest you take this up with your superior. There's no time to mess around with paperwork. <laughs> I'll need to take things into my own hands. Looks, looks like some kind of public print. Yeah. A fancy looking E. It's the Ethos logo, I believe. Hey, get away from there. Oh, sorry. I need to get out of sight first. I can cloak. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus 23. Suppose it wouldn't be a church without a Bible quote or two. Sturdy looking filing cabinet. A ventilation panel. Can't reach it from here. Something's going on on the other side there. A hey. bunch of storage boxes with initials on them. Several of the initials match people I know. But it could be a coincidence. If I had reason to believe one of them was Epos, it might be a good idea to come back here. I guess I could, but I have no reason to believe that Leonard has used one of these. So powers. you try it anyway, you knucklehead. Yeah, that might work as a distraction for the guard outside. I need to be sure that I don't have a reason to return to this room, though. Some kind of large pool or bathtub. Some kind of assembly hall with plenty of people inside. I should stay clear. Cloak seems to last for a long time. Looks like a timeline of how the EPO seal has changed over the years. This one. It's the tattoo. The third version of the Epos logo, designed about 15 years ago. That's the... I will tell you when Le when Leonard joined. As yeah, she really is. I'm not going to be able to manipulate that door. Let me go through there. We've got an intruder. Yep, what I thought. So I want to just trigger the thing, but I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to need to come back in here. Oh, I know what I think. I Looks like a timeline of how the. No way! It's the tattoo design. That must mean Leonard is a member of Epos. Or, well, he was, at some point at least. So that just means I was supposed to do that before I went into that room. 
I'll get rid he of likes to do that. Now that I've identified the symbol. It says LD on this box right here. That's got to be Leonard Tall. Clock, obviously. Oh, duh. Got a written piece of paper. Grandmaster Otto, if you are reading this, it means that I have failed. I'm sorry, but I didn't want to involve the church unless absolutely necessary. My brother has some things for you. They will be self-explanatory. I told him to only give them up to the person who repeats the famous quote from my favorite book. I'm sure you remember. Blessings from Leonard, your most humble and loyal servant. Well... It seems like Leonard was up to something shady. I'll have to find his brother and figure out what the quote is. See, you'd think that, but a lot of times, if you if you kind of jump the gun and you get ahead of yourself, they have to find ways to get you to backtrack. So, like earlier when I went into the junk heap, I wanted to open the refrigerator, and she just kept saying, "No, I, I shouldn't open it unless I have a reason to." But when I finally figured out from the kids by looking at their map that there was a secret panel hidden behind the refrigerator, then I was able to open. It. Even though I knew there was going to be something already. Time to turn the faucet on. Get the heck out of dog. All right, let's see if this works. That should keep a Go, go, go. Some kind of metal workshop with a few men working on what looks like construction materials. The room is a dead end, so oh, I'll avoid it. Okay, fine. Locked. Damn. Cloak. Stop uncloaking. Oh, super strength. The hell is that noise? Shit. We've got an intruder. Dang it. So something else I'm supposed to do. Ugh, it's come on, come on, come not, on. Not at the moment. We've got Dang. an intruder. <laughs> okay, so why it won't you notice it wouldn't let me trigger it. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. <laughs> Exodus twenty. That was their tip. Suppose Move this thing in front of me. A Bible quote or two. See if I'm supposed to do something else with this guy before I go from there. I should stay away while the guard is in there. Maybe if I just push it once. Ugh, it's stuck. Not right now. What the hell is that noise? We've got an intruder. I am really confused now as to how I'm supposed to to move this because it won't let me quickly turn Some the other one on. Metal work. The room is a dead end. And clearly, I'm supposed to go up into that ventilation panel. Grandmaster Otto, if you were read, I'm sorry, but I didn't want to involve the church unless absolutely necessary. My brother, I told him to I'm only to give them it up out to the first. person who repeats the famous quote from my favorite book. I'm sure you remember. Blessings from Leonard, your most humble and loyal servant. Well, let's we'll see if it'll let me leave. Not right now. I should explore this. Oh. 
not right now. Okay, so let me move it once. A ventilation. <clears throat> not now. Not at the moment. Okay. It's not the not now. Up. Oh. It's not the right time for that. Don't want to do that yet. There we go. I decided to move it slowly. I'm alone in here. Six new members over the last month. The Bacarbo Parish is also doing better now. They managed to resolve their financial difficulties? Oh yes, Elsa is doing great work there. Sending her on our behalf was the right call. That brings us to the subject of these horrid murders. Vile acts for certain. I pray that the church will stay clear of any blame. Why shouldn't it? We had nothing to do with those atrocities. I know that, old friend. But surely our enemies will not ignore an opportunity like this. <sighs> I suppose so. Our violent past coming back to haunt us. Sadly, the fact that one of our people was victimized will inevitably draw eyes upon the church. Yes, maybe it's in our best interest to invite the police as a gesture of good faith. It would certainly show them that we have nothing to hide. Very well. Let's bring the subject to a vote at the council tonight. Trixie, all white guys. Mm. At plotting. the very least, it seems like the church leadership didn't sanction the murders. I'll wait a bit and see if they leave. Clearly. Administrative paperwork. I don't think it's safe to. Wow, that's a lot of books. They have an impressive library here. Wow, that... I'm alone in here. Yeah, but that doesn't mean Welcome someone can't visitor. walk. Oh, uh... Special Agent, Violent Crimes, Central Bureau. Oh, it's you again. The man from the train. Indeed. I never forget a face, but I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. It's Agent England. Ah, I am Vilgut. I assume you are aware of our legal status. Yes, I've been informed. Probably. But tell me this. If you had nothing to hide, why would you invoke said legal status? A church needn't have things to hide to be protective of its privacy. But to prove you wrong, I'll answer any questions you might have. All right. I'll take you up on that. What do you know about the murder in the workshop hall? Not much at all. Only that a carpenter was brutally killed there in the night. What do you know about the murder in the museum? Only what my fellow church members have told me. That Maya Strand was stabbed to death by a mysterious killer. <laughs> because they've been farting in there. What's your take on the conduit? Oh, those heretics? Haven't heard anything of them in many years. As far as I know, they are firmly confined to the ash heap of history by now. Some might argue with that. Your church is a violent past for them, hasn't it? There's no denying that. We fought many battles with their kind in the youth of our movement. And now? Don't be absurd. They are practically eradicated. And we have been a peaceful group for decades. What do you think about their teachings, then? Certainly dangerous doctrines if left unchecked. The Conduit believes humans will create God in their image, instead of the other way around. In their folly, they forget that humans are flawed, 
and that their creations will inevitably inherit those flaws. The false god they aspire to create may demand sacrifices they're not prepared for. Boy, he's got a lot to say about them. So Leonard Thal, one of your members, was killed yesterday. I had a feeling your inquiry would lead us to him. Can you think of anyone who would want him dead? No. He was a loyal member of the church for many years. Kind of a loner, but always helpful and polite. He did have a strangeness to him, though. The look in his eyes like he was stuck in perpetual contemplation. It seemed as if he was constantly on the verge of, but never quite able to reach, some sort of profound revelation. Hmm. Any hint of a violent side to him? No. To my knowledge, Leonard never committed any violence, nor did he express any desire to do so. This church, Epos, what are your teachings? At our core, we are an orthodox Christian church. We believe in the one true God and his only son, Jesus Christ. And what sets your group apart from other Christians? Two things. The reverence of the essential humanity in each and every one of us, and our stalwart opposition to false idols. Prior to the collapse, the great flood of our time, we arose as a reaction to the disgraceful habits of that era, the widespread worship of anything and everything but God, wealth, fame, mindless pleasure, the sickening mutilation of our bodies to the point where some were more machine than human, <laughs> and the worst of all, the pursuit of AI superintelligences. False gods that humans aspired to construct for themselves. We oppose it all for the glory of our creator and the salvation in our future. And how do you go about preventing people from worshipping these false gods? Not by violence, if that's what you're implying. Such things belong to the past. So it's just a coincidence that the only armed man I've seen in Nordson was right behind your doors? Sadly, the world is still in a state where men with guns are a necessary evil. However, no laws have been broken. We have every right to bear arms. <laughs> Do you know what kinds of books Leonard liked to read? Hmm. Uh, one book he borrowed frequently was The Kingdom of God is Within Me. In fact, it still hasn't been returned. It should be among his estate. Would you be able to say if he had any favorite quotes from that book? No, you should ask someone who spent more time with him. Fine, I'll do that. What kind of book is it anyway? It's about non-violence, to summarize. Got it. Thanks. So it means I'm gonna have to go talk to Melinda. What do you know about Carl Oscarson? I must confess I didn't even know his name before I heard he was a murder victim. Dang it, I forgot again. What do you think of Gabriel? Kurt's nephew. Well, we only met briefly a few times. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. <laughs> Come on, Gothron, you gotta remember. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? The school teacher. She also calls herself Melinda. I believe I've seen her around town with the school children, but I don't know much about her. What do you think of Commissary Anderson? He's no member of the church, but he's a fine man blessed with strong Christian morals. Compassionate, forgiving, and open-minded. I was good friends with his late father, and I'm glad to see that his son followed in his footsteps. What's your opinion on Stina Ruth? Cunning woman, that one. And she's been a thorn in our side ever since she joined the town <laughs> council. Yeah? How so? She has a penchant for political obstruction. Things like hindering our building permits or imposing unreasonable restrictions on our street preaching. Hmm. Why do you think she's been acting that way? If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say she has some kind of grudge. Some Christian out there must have greatly angered her at some point. What's your opinion on Maya Strand? She was my polar opposite in almost every way. But I enjoyed the occasional late-night chess game with her in the canteen. It's fascinating how trivial activities like board games can bring such different people together. Goes without saying that I was as shocked and appalled as anyone when I learned of what happened to her. You can say that. What's your opinion on Dr. Pearson? 
he and I have quite different takes on life and death, to put it lightly. But alas, a man of my age needs to see a physician regularly to keep the Grim Reaper at bay. So I grit my teeth and endure half an hour of this morbid humor for the sake of my health. What do you think of Walter? I don't know him well, but he seems like the kind of man who plays the part of the clown to hide a deep wound. Do you know who Leonard Dahl's brother is? I believe his name is Rolf. Quite a shady character, if you ask me. Oh, the gardener, right? Yes, that's him. And it's funny because earlier when we were walking around, remember? I think actually we've already encountered it, him once, but so either we have or it's, that was an accident on the part of the game of telling us his name earlier. What can you tell me about Rolf? Not my favorite person. He mocked the Lord when I first met him, but I don't take kindly to that sort of behavior. Really? I'll keep it to my... Do you recognize this woman? I do. That's one of the teachers, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that pretty much sums up what I know about <laughs> him. I don't need to show him. That's evident. Recognize this? I do. Read it even many years ago. Know thy enemy? Something like that. Well, I think I asked him all of it, and I don't think... That's all, good. for now. Understood. I'll be here if you have more inquiries. Hopefully we won't have to go the weird... Oh, oh, the passage led back here. Good. Since I left the door unlocked behind me, I'll be able to come back the same way. Nice. So, I need to go... I need to go talk to what's her face. Kids are gone. I wonder where they went. He looks busy sifting through the junk. I'll leave him be. Yes, but I need him to go away. Apparently that's not that big of a deal. You're back. Sure am. I do need to go talk to Rolf also. I need to pick your brain about a few more things. Okay. What's up? I'm trying to find a book quote that Leonard Dahl was fond of. You should ask somebody who knew the guy then. Yeah. I found out that Leonard Dahl was a member of Epos. Really? Yes, really. Anything to say about that? Good riddance, I guess. You pose are a bunch of assholes. That so? Happen to hate them enough to shred one of them to bits? No. Whoever did that is a sick person. Do you know Rolf, the gardener? I know his name and occupation, but that's about it. I don't think she'd be interested. So I found this tape in the museum. Let me guess. Something oh, yeah. I wouldn't try to about this already. That's evident. I borrowed the Oh, good. Yeah, she not to get back. That's right. All right. I got what I needed. Good. A small de All right. I'm okay. Yes, yes, yes. You wrong person to talk to. to the scavenger. Now you'll let me talk to him. Hello, Rolf. Hey, look, I'm pretty busy here. Not really a good time to talk. This can't wait. You heard about your brother. 
And we have met him already. It's a small town. What do you think? Sorry about your loss, but I really need to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Do you know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher? She also calls herself Melinda. Sure, I've seen her around, but that's pretty much it. What do you think of Walter? He's kind of a loon, isn't he? And coming from <laughs> me, that's saying a lot. Sorry, that one made me laugh. What kind of relationship did you have with your brother? The sibling kind. We weren't enemies, if that's what you're asking. The rest is really none of your business. What can you tell me about yourself, Rolf? I'm not in the mood for small talk. Ask your questions so I can get back to work. Ish. What do you know about the conduit? You know I'm a gardener, not an electrician, right? That's not... Never mind. I'm sorry, Rolf, but I have to ask you about your brother's death. I know, and I wish I had something to give you. But I don't know what happened. So you have no idea who'd want to kill Leonard? It's got to be the nut job who killed those other people, right? It's possible, but far from certain. When was the last time you talked to your brother? A week and a half ago or so. Okay. How did he seem? What did you two discuss? He was his usual self, but what we talked about is private. Look, every little detail matters. What he said could be the key to finding his killer. I'm not going to betray his trust. If you want to arrest me, go ahead. But that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Church of Eucharist? I know for a fact that your brother was a member. So? That's not a crime. Come on, Rolf. Work with me. Don't you want me to catch your brother's killer? <sighs> yes, he was a member. But I'm not. I spent ten years trying to get him out of that place. Why would you do that? Because he changed. He became this sullen, slow, serious Beep. block of a person. He used to be so full of life, you know. And read it yourself. He died just yesterday, but the Leonard I grew up with, he's been dead for a long time. I understand, Rolf. Thanks for sharing. No, I don't want to tip him off before I figured out the exact quote. I should keep this to myself, or he might figure out that I'm not the person Leonard wanted to have the evidence. Do you know who this is? Sure. It's that teacher, Melinda, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I know about her. E useful. Do you recognize this? No. Looks like any other knife to me. Why? that a murder weapon or something? I can't give any more details. Sorry. What do you know about the conduit? You know I'm a gardener? That's not... Wait. Okay, so... I don't want to share that with that. you. He didn't have any kind of reaction, That's it, so... That's for now. Good. Oh, I know where I need to Baby's probably fine. I need to go to There it is, the book from the library. Got it. The Kingdom of God is Within You by Leo Tolstoy. This looks ancient, pre-collapse for sure. A uh. number of pages are marked in the margins. Likely to easily find them. Even if one of the marked pages contains the quote I need, there's too much text. I'll need more to go on. Maybe someone who had regular contact with Leonard would know the quote if they saw it. That means I gotta find a worker. The kingdom of God. A number, even if one. Maybe. When you let me look at it. Oh, I gotta find someone who had regular contact with. I wonder if his brother would say something now that I've got the book. I should keep this to myself, 
or he might figure out that I'm not the person Leonard wanted to have the evidence. So, where would the guy go? Right here. Hey there, how are you holding up? Oh, you again. I'm doing okay. Any luck with the case? Some. Have time for more questions? I suppose. I thought I heard some the cat's doing something. Do you remember Leonard quoting a book? Hmm. He used to say this phrase every now and then. Not sure if it's from a book, though. Yeah? What was the saying? I don't remember exactly. Something about life and being human, I think. Sorry, might recognize it if I saw it. Have a look at these marked pages. Does anything remind you of things Leonard used to say? Hmm. Give me a minute, will you? Sure. Here. The sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. Leonard used to say that whenever I was late for work. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. No problem. Well, I got the quote. What's your opinion on the Free Church of Epos? I don't know much about it, but going to church doesn't sound like the worst idea. Maybe I should go and light a candle for Leonard. What can you tell me about Leonard's death? I already told you everything I know about that. What do you know about the conduit? Uh, you mean like, for electricity? <laughs> no, it's an organization. Pro AI. Oh, never heard of them. Do you know anything about the murder of Maya Strand? No, I rarely go to the museum these days. Dang it, I forgot again. Do you know anything about the murder of Carl Oscarson? Not really, just hearsay. I'm sure you've heard it all before. What's your opinion on the Free Church of Epos? I don't know much about it, but going to church doesn't sound like the worst idea. Maybe I should go and light a candle for Leonard. What do you know about the... Uh, you mean like, for electricity? No, it's... Oh, never heard of them. Yep, he was telling the truth there. I mean, outside of being generally anxious. Did you know Carl Oscarson? A little bit. We both grew up here in town, but we weren't friends or anything. He seemed like the last person you'd think would get murdered, though. Wouldn't hurt a fly. What's your opinion on Gabriel? I couldn't say. I've had very little contact with him. Do you know Katarina Berg, the teacher? No, I have no idea who that is. What's your opinion on Commissary Anderson? I normally don't have much contact with the police, but from what I can tell, he does a fine job. <laughs> what do you think of Stina Ruth, the councilwoman? Never met her, but I'm not much for politics. I have enough to worry about down here in the real world. <laughs> Did you know Maya Strand? I didn't, but I wonder how the museum will recover from her death. She was the driving spirit of that place, and I can't think of anyone who'd be willing to pick up the reins. What's your view of Dr. Pearson? He's as weird as they come, but everyone knows that. He's a fine doctor anyway. What do you think of Volter? Oh man, he's hilarious, but some of his robots really give me the creeps. Sorry, I was checking something. So, tell me what you know about Leonard. We already went through this. I don't have anything new to add. Do you know Rolf, the plant master? Sure, he brings our gardening waste to the recycling center every week. He's kind of an asshole, though. Always seems to be trying to rip you off. <laughs> I don't need to show him that. Do you recognize this woman? I don't. Sorry. Okay, we'll let I'll you I'll let you buddy. get back to your drink. Okay, good luck out there. Hi there. Hello, stranger. Newcomer, right? What brings you to town? Is it that obvious? 
I'm here for matters of the faith, you could say. I understand. Well, best of luck with that. A strange woman in hooded clothing. That's never a bad sign. Still nothing new out here. Except where we meet Stina. I think they deliver. I don't see anything. I don't see anything up. All right. Grandmaster Otto, if you were reading, I'm sorry, but I didn't want to involve the church unless absolutely necessary. My brother has some. I told him to only give them up to the blessings from Leonard. And now I should go be able to go in it. Right? The phrase. Hey, I had a few more inquiries. <sighs> Fine. The sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. I don't believe this. You have something for me, Rolf? I guess so. You know, you're the last person I was expecting. Was my brother a police informant? Uh, yeah. We were building a case, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. Shit! That's crazy. Wait here, I'll be right back. Guess it doesn't hurt his memory of him. Bury the bastard that killed my brother. I'll do my very best. Got rid of the note. No need to hold on to that. Thanks for stating the up. Let's see here. There was an audio tape and a few documents inside. Well, I know where to go for the tape. To that room I discovered last time. I had so much fun doing that, I made a highlight of it. This tape is in pretty bad shape, but I might be able to do something with this machine here. Don't ruin it. All right, looks like the machine has analyzed the tape. Maybe I can reduce some or all of this noise. I think I need to work with smaller sections of the tape. Okay. Some metal clanking. Well, none of these things let me do anything, so. I shouldn't do that before I... Okay, so... See what happens? Oh, still a piece in there. What do we have here? Filter the thunder out. Amplified. Baby, I can't wait to be done with all of this and just go be a family. So they're playing the wind chimes, so that means they're sitting over by the place where the robot guy is. I can't shake the feeling that someone is onto us. You've been careful. 
You're imagining things, Carl. <sighs> Maybe. I can't wait to be done with all of this and just go be a family. Me either, my love. Me either. Did you get the package? Yes. Had a look inside. CPUs, neural cores, major third degree violations. I don't like it any more than you do, but it will keep Maya off our backs for a while. Fuck, Cap. <laughs> Mel, it's too hot. Terrorist classified hot. By definition, we are terrorists now. Mm -hmm. Don't be dramatic. We'll keep our heads down, let Maya have her fun, then eject from this whole mess. <sighs> Things used to be so simple around here. Oh, and since the bot took the time to post it, I'll remind everybody about the little now it's sitting below me right here. That, that I do game for extra life, and you can find out more at that link right there. And specifically you can find out more about the hospital. By uh, that right there. So there's where last year's money went. Interesting. If only I knew where it was recorded. I know where it was recorded. These look like surveillance reports. It seems that Leonard was investigating Carl, Katarina, and Maya. The museum, the junk heap, and the apartment at Manier Road are all mentioned as locations of interest. Leonard must have followed them around town and documented their activities. There's not much new to me in here, but there's mention of multiple tape recordings. Maybe they can offer some other clue to the killer. Oh, was it going to let me take the tape? Nope, nope, I have to leave it here. I think there's anything else in here. But yeah, I still haven't found the hardware that's supposed to go in. An electronic headset of some kind. Game's turned off. Yep. Oh, stop hitting escape. Appears to be a wireless data reader of some kind. Some more sketches. These are going to be Maya's rune sketches. Various technical drawings. Some of them. Yep. Nothing new in here. Well, I know where one one of those places was. I mean, it was very obvious. There's only one place in town. Oh, those must be the chimes I heard on Leonard's tape. That means Carl and Katarina were here when they were recorded. I should have a look around. like an apartment building. I guess we're gonna go look at the bench. Hmm. I wonder. There's something taped here under the bench. A tape recorder. This must be what Leonard used to record Carl and Katarina. There's still a tape inside. Crap, looks like the recorder is busted. That's easy enough. Go back to my my secret lab. I'm calling it now. My secret lab in the museum. To the secret lab. Dogs out again. Let me worry about Carl. I'll find a way to make him see the value of our cause. He's a liability, Katarina. It's only a matter of time before he figures out our true plans for the vessel. Maya, just don't call our child that. What? Vessel? But that's exactly what it is. A vessel for Holdra. Don't get emotionally attached. We must put our own selfish desires aside. Hmm. How many children can she not save? 
How much suffering can she not end? I know, Master, it's just hard. What if something went wrong? What if this is all for nothing? You need to have faith, sister. Ever since I was little, I have sung to the tune of these machines. Now, is your wrist implant working as expected? I think so. It doesn't itch anymore, at least. I'll run a diagnostic later. I also put in a little surprise. Let me guess, a bomb? Is that sarcasm? It doesn't befit you. No, a fake biometric signature. Oh, for the city trench coats? Why would one of them ever come to Nordsend? It's just precaution. We won't remain here forever. I haven't gotten us this far by avoiding contingencies, have I? I suppose not. Teachers. Katarina played me good. She is one of them. I must go and confront her. And she won't be there. Took too long figuring that out. Not going to be there. He looks busy. Mm -hmm. The door is open. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, really? I am well prepared for tactical engagement, Alex. There is no need for concern. If you say so, honey. Really? We're going to go Star Wars? I'm alone in here. Say that. Katarina? Huh? If someone is there, show yourself. Stina. Tanya Stina. Cloaked. Hey, Katarina. Wake up. Shit. Her pulse is extremely weak. Maybe her arm is worse off than it looks. I need to go get help. Now you need to go get the, those medical supplies. From what I can gather, some kind of brain trauma has put her in a comatose state. Damn. Can you determine the extent of the damage? Difficult to say, which is typical for most brain injuries. She could wake up in five minutes. She may never wake up at all. What could have caused it? Could someone have done it to her? It's theoretically possible that she suffered a stroke, but her symptoms are eerily similar to victims of sophisticated interrogation techniques. Interrogation techniques? Like what? I'm no neurologist or nanoengineer, but from what I learned in medical school, there are advanced torture devices and energy-based weapons that can cause symptoms like this. All of them illegal, of course. Your colleagues at the Bureau may have more information about the subject. I see. I will consult my contact here in Nordsund. Mm -mm. Perhaps she has some knowledge on the matter. No, 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 no. I will remain here overnight and monitor this woman's vitals. Good. Thank you, Doctor. I don't trust Stay any nasty, of them. Gabriel. Whoever did this to Katarina may decide to come back. I'll try, ma'am. Be careful out there. Euron is drawing near. Euron? You didn't hear? The storm. That's what people are calling it. Oh. Must be a big one. I don't trust any of these people. Hmm. No Stina. Quite a mess. Could be caused by the storm. Or... Caused by the storm, or I don't see any. I don't see anything up. I don't see an. I don't see an. But there is a scarf there. That wasn't there before. It's seen a scarf. <laughs> Stina, what Told the hell? Sorry, kid. Can't let you stand in my way. I should have known it was you.
I fell. Damn it. Why'd you have to get so close? Told you you couldn't trust her. Said that two episodes ago. Could no, not trust this her. This wasn't supposed to happen. Hold on, darling. I've got this. <coughs> Damn. The strain on my blue to keep me alive must have knocked out the ox. I've never felt this cold. I need to find a way to heat myself up before I get hypothermia. Oh, there's a twig. Grab all the twigs. A large branch. Damp and not ideal as firewood, but could be part of a shelter. Damn, it's too tough to break off by hand. This area in front of the cave looks suitable for a campfire. It's a shallow cave, but I should be able to take shelter from the storm in there. I need to get myself warm and dry first, though. A large branch. Pull it off, A right? large branch. Damp and not ideal as firewood, but could be part of a shelter. I need to find something else to use. Uh, or just go back and just make the fire. Pretty intense flow in the stream. I think I need to just use the wood there. This. This straight stick would work well as a spindle for a friction fire, but I'll need to assemble kindling. Okay, I put the firewood in place. I'll need some dry kindling too. I can't get any of those. It's not letting me go over any farther that way. Maybe. Maybe if I. This straight stick would work well. I could follow the stream back to Nordsend, but it's too dangerous to do. Got to be something with those branches. Partially soaked. I hate to do this, but it's there a we go. of survival. All those fails, use the book. Too much wind from the east. I need to shield the campfire with something. <laughs> Damp through and through. I'll need to dry this. A photo of Katarina. The glass frame is broken. There we go. I've got. These could become a wind shelter, but I need to attach the branches together somehow. Damp through and through. Three solid, sharp pieces. That combination. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me either. That combination. That action doesn't. Well, is there anything else lying around I can use? I don't see anything. Hmm. Just checking my volume levels.
Oh, the the tape. The tape. It's the tape found in the tape recorder under the bench. The label says session number six. Yeah, I might tie it all together. To tie it all together using the tape. All right, that should catch any wind coming from the east. Remember last time we went camping? How could I forget? What didn't go wrong that weekend? Well, we were never hit by any meteorites or struck by lightning. But other than that... <laughs> At least my friction fire skills have improved. I never thought all that survival training would ever actually pay off. Avoiding death by freezing may have been a decent incentive. You could say that. As much as I enjoy your company, I'm not quite ready to cross over to the other side. A4. Looks like the storm has subsided. I should try to make my way back to Nordson. Where you'll be blamed for everything. I was lucky to find good shelter. familiar feeling again it's the blue kicking back on I seem to have developed an ability to regenerate wounds likely due to the trauma last night Fun. no sign of my previous augmentations though I may need to replenish my blue to get them back <laughs> doesn't do anything the stream is calmer now, since the storm has passed. So, the conduit... They're trying to create an AI superintelligence. It would appear that way. I can see the appeal. An AI singularity would be a source of immense power. A source of immense danger as well. We don't have the third decree for nothing. Such a being would become like... A god, right? It would have the power to do anything. Almost. In the long term, its capabilities would approach anything possible within the boundaries of physics. Hell, it might even be able to bring me back. The real me. In theory, yes. But given the risks involved, it would be absurd to pursue the singularity for that reason. You know what's absurd? What's pretty fucking mm. awful? Being dead. Yeah. I need to get imagine. away. This is just me talking to my subconscious. He's never coming back. Or it's a side effect of the blue. <sighs> Pull yourself together, Vera. You have a job to do. Hey, it's the road from the intro. The, the title screen. Stop right there, Agent. Now, this is unexpected. What possible reason could you have for greeting me at gunpoint? We have reason to take you into custody. Please come willingly. I assume I can't convince you two that you have been deceived? That my accuser is the guilty one? Save it for the interrogation, Agent. <laughs> it seems hey. Stina got the police on her side. We're in the I prison. I need to get out of here. Hey, up here! Looks like you got yourself in quite a pickle there, Missy. <laughs> Stating the obvious won't help, Walter. Oh, I know. Sorry. Just trying to lighten the mood. Well, I'm happy you're here. At least somebody was able to evade Councilwoman Ruth's influence. Can you inform me of what happened in town? Oh, gee. I'm not sure. But I think Lady Ruth pulled a fast one on the commissary and is second in command. I overheard them saying that you were a sleeper agent or something. And that you minced that guy in the recycling center. Me? That makes no sense at all. I must find a way to clear my name when I get out. Shouldn't you try to escape first? <laughs> That's kind of a prerequisite to any name clearing. <laughs> Obviously. Can you assist? Hmm. 
Perhaps I could put on a show for the cops and make a clear path for... Quiet. Somebody is coming. Leave now. I'll look for a chance to do something. You up to something, England? Not at all. Just waiting for the interrogation. Good. Shouldn't be more than an hour or two. <laughs> it requires a key. I can't do anything with that now. Hey! He's ignoring me. That action doesn't... How about I cut myself? A desperate strategy, albeit necessary. <sighs> what the hell? Jesus! What did you do to yourself? Hang in there! <sighs> oh, come <laughs> on! Let me out! I'll leave him be. Let me out! Be nice to be able to turn invisible. No way! I need to get out of here. Got my notebook back. A thermos, presumably filled with coffee. A thermos. This is hardly the time to. It's a map of Nordson. Anything different about that? Low maintenance. Okay, so nothing else here. First things first. I need to jumpstart my lost augmentations if I'm going to have any chance of defeating Stina. The technology left behind by the conduit members may have something I can use. The time to go. But I'm willing to bet you it's not going to be here anymore. Yep. This is unfortunate. Somebody has triggered a premature birth and taken the child. An innocent Somebody. life is now on the line. I better hurry up and find a way to restore my augmentations. How could you let this happen? Don't you realize how important she is? I couldn't have predicted this. Why are you getting so emotional? I'm sorry, darling, but I realize just now what the Conduit are really trying to do. We've been over this. They're trying to create an AI singularity. Not only that, they plan to contain it within the child. To bridge the gap between AI and humans. <laughs> oh, that actually sounds like a plausible theory. I know I'm right. That child would have the power to bring me back. You're presuming that this AI would do your bidding. That's a dangerous assumption. If we're the ones who awaken Huldra, she'd owe us her very existence. Please, it's our only chance. Save the child, and then save me too. I have no idea what to think anymore. <laughs> Looks like the fetal fluid from the tank. The womb tank looks completely empty. Oh, wait, there's some kind of switch here. That looks like a vial of blue. It must have been fed into the fetal fluid. I could try to power up my ogs with this vial, but I'll leave it in the cooling unit until I have a way of injecting it. I'm going to find the clinic. Looks like this was filled with supplies for caring for a baby. Some are missing. Eight months, 15 days. Month and a half early. Vessel ready, rebirth imminent. Rebirth? Interesting choice of words. 
glory to Haldra. Oh, it won't close. Some kind of live output of tech. Still plenty. Odd looking thing. Well, let's go get a syringe. Go to the hospital. The hospital. Go to the hospital. Uh, this way. I wonder. And was adamant, and I saw fit not to ask questions. Makes no difference to me, standing guard here or at the train station, as long as I can feed my kids. At the very least, we're less exposed to the weather in here. Afraid your pretty beard might get all ruffled up? You'd see what it's like for yourself, Kulla, if your face ever matured past puberty. <laughs> ha! Touche! Anyway, our school teacher here, is she expected to, like, wake up? I was informed that she's fully comatose. We are to guard her from the fugitive. Well, I'm not getting any supplies from in there. It's too risky to handle those deputies without my augmentations. That nurse is completely oblivious. Ah, syringes. Got an empty syringe. Woohoo! Back to the blue. Hello, George Mallory. How are you doing today? Playing around with quest mode? Okay, so. All right, it's filled with blue. Pump me up. Even this diluted form of blue should restore some of my previous functionality. Oh, you're not doing it? I'm sorry. Hey! All right, back in business. But I still need to find a way to clear my name. Maybe somebody can speak on my behalf. Power overwhelming. Got another achievement. I'm sorry you're not doing too well. Hopefully the rest of your day gets better. Your hands won't do what you tell them to. As in, like they're shaking or you're just having a clumsy day. I think my... My cloaking. This snooze is the best. I can't get enough of it. Why a person would voluntarily put a toxic brown lump in their mouth is beyond me. You don't know what you're missing, man. My boy has been doing much better lately. Good news. I was fearing... Uh-oh. Crying out loud. Relax. Must be a blown fuse. You head for the door. Don't take too long, all right? I have a, ba I have a bad feeling about this. Here we go again with I the Star Wars. Shouldn't be too difficult to find that fuse box. I could, but it's risky. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so. I need to come up with a way to wake her up. Snuff, maybe? Looks like an IV bag filled with liquid nutrients. But maybe not the kind. Looks like Katarina needs oxygen to keep her stable. Yes, but maybe it's not the kind that good for her. Various medical supply. It's filled with cannulas. Those little needle things used to connect an IV. Got one. Let's see what happens when I put that on there. Okay, now what? 
She's already connected. Oh, regeneration. There we go. Uh, uh. Ah. Hey, what's that? You awake? Barely. Well, why is it so dark in here? Uh, we're working on it. Hang tight. I'll go get help. Katarina? Can you hear me? Ow, oh, yeah, barely. Oh, my head is killing me. Who's asking? Hang on. I'll get some light in here. Christ, that's bright. <laughs> there. Who did this to you, Katarina? That hag. What's her name? The foul mouthed woman at City Hall? <laughs> Stina Ruth? Yeah. I need you to tell the police what you just told me. That will give us a mandate to go after her. I don't know about that. Sounds like you need my help, sister. What's in it for me? Your baby. The possibility of having your offspring return to you, for one. Wait, what? Did something happen? Yes. Somebody triggered a premature birth and kidnapped your child. No. Fuck. Huh? <laughs> okay, I'll help. She came out of nowhere, touched my forehead, and everything went black. My knees caved and... And I could feel something greedily carving through my mind, nibbling at my memories. It was terrifying. Are you certain that this assault was done by Stina Ruth? I'm positive. I saw her clearly. Strangely enough, she didn't seem to care about hiding from me at all. Did you get a sense of what information she was looking for? Not really, but the whole process felt frantic, rushed. Hmm. Why do you think she even left you alive? Fuck if I know. Maybe she was interrupted or she just assumed I would never wake up. This testimony certainly improves your case, Agent, but I'm still not convinced. Elaborate, please. I'm struggling to see why this information wouldn't be enough to rescind my arrest order. Look, a longtime trusted member of our community has accused you, an outsider, of murdering Leonard Dahl on behalf of terrorists. Now you are relying on a suspected member of this terrorist cell to clear your name. Surely you can see what the problem is. It's impossible for me to have committed that murder. I was in my quarters all night. Can anyone corroborate that? I had the evening shift. I saw her enter her room at around 10. That's a start. Who took your place during the night shift? I did, Commissary. No one came in or out of the police station until early morning. Why am I hearing about all of this now? You didn't ask. With all due respect, sir, no one tells me anything. I didn't know it was important. <laughs> well then, I have to admit that we no longer have grounds for an arrest. I'm releasing you from custody, Agent. I'm glad you are starting to see reason. Yes, my apologies. There was something unnatural about the councilwoman. She was very convincing. Her How would you like to proceed? Stina is an ex-agent and extremely dangerous. Given my training and background, I'm best suited to deal with her. Stay vigilant and be on the lookout, but do not engage with her unless you have no other choice. I will handle her alone. Understood. Oh, and before I forget, here's your weapon. Well, thank Good. you. I'll need that. Thanks. Let's meet up later at the station. You'll leave a deputy to keep an eye on her, yeah? She's far from harmless. Of course. <laughs> now, with that out of the way, it's time for us to have a serious talk. I'm clean, sister. <sighs> Can't wait, sister. Oh. It's in your best interest to cooperate. The faster you answer my questions, the faster I can pursue the kidnapper. Fine. Ask your questions, then. Sure, but one thing needs to be taken care of first. Your wrist implant. You're in luck. I can't feel it anymore, so the doctor must have taken it out. You know anything about that, deputy? Uh, yeah. Dr. Pearson had some theory about a foreign object in her body causing the coma. He cut out a small device from her arm. Noted. I'll have to ask him about that when I'm done here. Hiding evidence. We are ready for a formal interrogation, then. 
Are you trying to resurrect AI? What do you think? Did you happen to skip past the conduit section and all those textbooks of yours? I know them by heart, but I'm more curious about your logical reasoning. You must know that AI almost destroyed our entire civilization. AI had nothing to do with that. Alarmists and doom prophets were responsible. The old world was a place of wonder, you know? Limitless wealth and prosperity, and we threw it all away. You're omitting the looming threat of our own destruction. Human evolution, even with genetic engineering, stands no chance of catching up with an AI singularity. Why would we even need to catch up? Are we really that scared of anything greater than us? People treat AI as some outside force with an intent to destroy us all. AI is our own creation, our progeny. What sane parent would fear their children surpassing them? We're still seeing things through the eyes of the fucking primitive predators we really are. Kill or be killed. Anything remotely resembling a threat must be destroyed. You're incorrect. It was simple self-preservation. <sighs> I used to be just like you. I wish Maya was alive. She could have helped you understand. I am more open-minded than you might think. Why don't you give me a chance? What's the point? You'll only use the information against me. You'll take my child away or worse. If you want my confession, you have it. Yes, I'm guilty of trying to save humanity. Yes, I'm guilty of trying to awaken Huldra, what you'd call an AI superintelligence powered by a singularity. I have a recording where Maya called your child Maybe. a vessel for Huldra. You're trying to create a human AI hybrid, right? <sighs> You're wasting time. I'll tell you everything when my daughter is safe in my arms. Until then, I'm not saying another word. <laughs> we have more things to discuss, Katarina. Like I said, not another word until I see my child. Well, isn't she I just... I don't need any water right now. Isn't she just fun? Keep up the good work, deputy. Sorry about the whole jail thing. Trying my best, ma'am. And, uh, yeah, you really pulled a fast one on me there. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I don't have anything. And uh, nothing new in here. Ah, there I go again, hitting escape. Oh. No time for chit chat. I. Go talk to the doctor. Turn this thing on. Dr. Pearson? Ah! <laughs> Whoa, relax. Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry about that. They were thumping. I was told you found something in Katarina's arm. Oh, yes. A small tubular implant right here. Thanks. Have you been able to determine what it does? No, I can't make head nor tails of it. I'd suggest asking an engineer. Fair enough. Have you checked the other bodies for similar objects? Hmm. Maya had a peculiar wound on her wrist, but no implant. It is possible that the killer cut it out. And Carl? Alas, he was cremated before I got a chance. The next of kin was really fussy about that. Damn. Where are the ashes? In the thing Still in the oven. I was about to collect them. That one? No, the one in my kitchen. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm joking. You really need to lighten up, you know? I'll worry about that when the case is solved. Excuse me, doctor. I knew we were going to be able to open this thing eventually. Wow, the implant is still intact. It must be made of some strong materials. Appears to be a small. Now we have to. I don't have anything to ask him right now. I don't need. To Just because you don't want to ask him about it. Ask her. Hey, I'd like to show you something. Like I said, not another word until I see my child.
Yeah, she's gonna hold to that line. Is this thing open yet? Am I able to open this door? No use. It's locked. Nope. Okay, so engineer. Oh. Go talk to Walter. What time is it? Just about time. I have some creative writing I need to get. Wow, you made it out. <laughs> Skating the obvious much? I need to know all about your daring escape. It was a close call. I had to rely on some dangerous self-harm and, well, your distraction, I presume. Thanks for that. Anytime. Hopefully it won't take too long for you to clear up this whole mess. That would certainly be preferable. There's too much at stake. I have no doubt. Now, what can I do you for? What distraction did he cause? He disappeared. We sliced ourselves. The guy opened and we don't... Not really sure what else he... What distraction he caused. I have to find Stina Ruth. Any idea where she might be? I often see her around this part of town, but I'm not sure where she lives exactly. In the apartment? What do you think of Rolf? Funny guy. Smokes like a chimney and drives one hell of a hard bargain. What do you know about the Free Church of Epos? Oh, nothing much. I know their headquarters is over at the old mall past North Town, but I've never been inside. Oh, my God! Uh, what? Are those... are those... robot <laughs> eggs? Uh, Nisa, no, that's not quite... You better take those away before he gets excited. He keeps bugging me about a little brother. But I want to know about them. I'm off. See ya. Take care. Bye bye, police lady. Yep, the robot waves only leave. Oh. Game mechanic. What are you doing? Hey, game mechanic, how are you? Welcome in. Welcome, everybody. If you want the cheese, you gotta find it yourself. It's over there somewhere. How are you doing? Now, I'm gonna do a shout-out for you, and it's gonna cause the music to go away, but because uh, there's nothing I can do about it with this, this game. Uh, I'm doing well. It's nice to see you over here again. Been a little bit since you were here last time for our interview but hey how's everybody doing if you're not already following the game mechanic you could he's one of my favorite streamers i may not always speak up when i'm watching but i do i do watch all the time uh today i'm solving a murder mystery one point and click at a time while commenting about the little tracker that's below me the extra life one right there oh and had a little bit of a talk earlier about people and not respecting service dog badges so, we are on day four of this murder mystery, and I'm trying to find an engineer to talk to. If you're familiar with point-and-click adventures, it's literally what it sounds like. Point and click. And this, based on the, sometimes you get choices, and you can, and the way you answer can lean you towards the analytical, the assertive, or the empathetic. And you get abilities based on those. So... The, the enhanced vision and the cloak, I'm pretty sure, are the ones that come with being more analytical because that's what I've been choosing. Obviously, you can choose different, make different choices and get different skills, I think. So, right now, we are currently on the hunt for the person who I've been guessing for a while now was up to no good, the councilwoman. He proved to be a baddie and shoved us off the thing, but we didn't die because we're the heroine and we're not supposed to die. But to everyone who came over, with the game mechanic, I appreciate you following him. And remember, it's always a safe space. You can pretty much count on never being startled here. And we don't we want you to feel safe here. Otherwise, today's been very light. How is your How is your sieve? How's uh is it Pound Maker? Is who I saw you playing? Pound Maker. I need an engineer. Hmm. Where would an engineer be? 
He's a, he's a gardener. He's not an electrician. I need an elect. I need an engineer. What's the engineer in this town? I forget. One in the canteen. For once, there's nobody in the canteen. Hey, they cleaned it up after the storm. And the banner's gone. This is where we got shoved off. Come on. Where are all the peoples? All the pe I don't have any business in the school. No, of course you don't. Nope. Nope, no need to go in there. Nobody in there. Looks like an, an old hovercraft, yep. Where did everybody go? All hiding. Let's go this way. No, this is the wrong direction. I need to get to the junk heap so I can go to the other side of town. Yalla. Go to North Town. I could have gone through Mimir Road also. I don't think there's anybody still here. Yeah, that guy's not anymore. There's the mural. I'm here and see if anybody has anything to say now that. Somebody locked the back door to the library. Maybe just as well. I had nothing important to do in there anyway. You say you had nothing important to do there. I disagree. Maybe now I can go into the cafe. Maybe Again? No. Okay, so Walter is not the engineer. No one else is around. Am I supposed to? Two electronic wrist implants extracted from Carl and Katarina. Hmm. You're gonna jump over there, why not just go? Somebody hiding up here now? Nope. No one's gonna be here either. Where did everybody go? There's always a point in these games. You get to them and you just, it's something obvious. You're always wondering. Yeah, I would normally ask a person who was fascinated with the, the machinery and the robots, but maybe there's, hey, I see somebody. Hello, it's a Genghis. person. Hey there, can I be of assistance? A shame Anderson proved to be so susceptible to Skeema's trickery. Yeah, what could I say? I don't want to disrespect him, but between you and me, I wasn't that surprised. <laughs> so, do you know where I should search for Skeema? No idea. I'd look up her address and start there. Okay, so we're gonna go look up somebody so, else's address. Walter ended up saving the day. He did. Shame on us for not dealing with this better ourselves. Again, they're talking about what he did, and I don't know. He's saying his distraction. He didn't do anything. He what? He left. Do you know Rolf Dahl? <laughs> you could say that. I've stopped counting the number of times we've hauled his ass to jail. Oh, he's a troublemaker. Yes, ma'am, a slippery one. But one of these days, his luck will run out. <laughs> what do you know about the Free Church of Epos? We have a few members in the family, but I've never been there myself. Always felt uncomfortable in churches. Are you commenting on his voice or what he looks like? Do you know what these are? They look like computer chips in some sort of protective shell. Clearly a third degree violation, right? Hard to say without the assistance of an engineer, but most likely, yeah. Okay, so he's got nothing else. Let's go look up her address. All right, I'm off. Good luck out there. Address first, since we already know we need to look. Oh, the voice actor? He may be. No. 
I need to look up. Nina. All right. Looks like her address is at Five Lindgren Street. I think that's up the stairs opposite Walter's shop. Let me look at anybody else. I don't think I need. Nope. I don't think. I don't think. I, <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. Of course you don't think. Ah, there I went. I died. I escaped again. I had a few questions, Commissary. By all means. I don't think that... What do you know Didn't about the Free Church of Epos? Well, I'm no member myself, but my father was an Epos man. Oh, really? What made you pick a different path? I suppose I never had much faith in a higher power. I believe in humanity, and that's enough for me. What's your impression of the Church, then? Positive, overall. From my point of view, they've always been a friendly group of people. Law-abiding and ready to lend a hand when the town needed it. You must admit, the embassy status is quite suspicious, though. Agreed. I opposed it at every turn. We should all be equal before the law. But in the end, it was a political matter and out of my hands. No hard feelings about what happened before, Anderson. Stina's deceptive skills are unparalleled. I can't believe I let that witch get the better of me. <laughs> Serious blow to my pride, this whole affair. So, any idea where I can find her? Not really. Check her address in the records. Already did, but thanks anyway. <laughs> so, I presume Volter's gonna get a ribbon or something now, right? We'll find a fitting way to thank him, I... I may have to go back and watch the VOD. I mean, I usually go back and at least watch a portion of the VOD so I can see how it went. I may have to go back and watch that section just so I can figure out what it was the Volter did because I don't remember him so doing anything. So it turns anything. out that Leonard Dahl was a member of EPOS. That's disconcerting. Do you suspect that the church is connected to the murders? Not anymore. I infiltrated their compound, and nothing indicates that they had any prior knowledge of the cans. I see. That's a relief. It is? Well, a whole organization committing murders would be a hell of a lot more difficult to deal with than a single person. Wouldn't you agree? Fair enough. Oh yeah, you're right. I think if I think when the him up there talking drew the guard down, that's what it was. That must be what they're referencing. Because he didn't do anything else. What's your opinion on Rolf Dahl, the plant master? Oh, oh don't get me started on that troublemaker. He's always up to something. Yeah? Like what? Anything that will make him a quick buck. Smuggling and handling of stolen goods, usually. Want me to look into it? No need. You have bigger fish to fry. We can handle Rolf. So who do you think was supplying the, uh... Do you know what this is? Clearly some kind of, uh, gizmo. You're asking the wrong person here. Oh, the... Members of the conduit that were getting all those illegal things. How much you want to bet That's they're getting it through Rolf? Very well. A small. Look. Anything different in here now? This thing working Doesn't yet? Appear to be Room's been mostly useless. Shopping district. Number five. Stina's address. An old badge from when Stina was a police officer in the city. A diploma for a specially distinguished service, signed by the bureau director. It's probably from back when Stina retired. Oh. That's the biggest bottle of booze I have ever seen. <laughs> Sitting right next to the baby supplies. Various items to care for a baby. Stina must be the kidnapper. I'm alone. A discarded beer bottle. I don't need to mess with that. Mm. Ooh, tapes. More tapes. There were a couple of tapes here. A number of empty glass vials in a neat package. Looks like Stina when she was about my age. She used to be quite pretty. Used to be? Oh. A Same. smoker too? It seems that Stina is a woman of many vices. And it's still smoking. 
There's a tape player on the table. No tape inside. Looks like this hasn't been functional for a while. Not even a blanket? Spina must like to sleep rough. A few identical bottles. I would guess they contain alcohol. This doesn't look like the residence of a councilwoman as much as it looks like the residence of, say, a smuggler. Tape five. Report number three. After roughly a month of surveillance, I am sure there are no more than three people in the group. The leader and the young couple. I have been unable to determine the location of their mainframe, but it must be in one of the key locations here in Nordsund. They rarely go down to the ground. The shack and the junk heap appears to be connected to a large makeshift antenna, so they may have access to long-range communications. The leader keeps referring to her wrist implant as a key, but I'm not sure to what. In any case, we should make sure to obtain it when we strike. We're starting to reach a point where we know enough to take action. Let's meet after dark at the usual place and discuss our options. Leonard, signing off. Not very smart putting his name on it. I know what you said, but I can't wait any longer. They're getting too close. The child will be born in a matter of weeks. If they finalize Project Holdra, it'll be the end of us all. I'll take care of their oh. leader first. Oh. I've gained her trust. Oh, so look out. It shouldn't be hard to get along with her. Look out. As for the child, the host. God forgive me, but it You're gonna is get an nation. I will do what needs to be done. Make sure you destroy these tapes. If things go wrong, I don't wish for any blame to fall on you or my church. You have taught me much, Councilwoman. If I fail, I trust you'll find a way to gonna get hit. My sacred duty. Gonna get hit. Goodbye. So, if Leonard killed the conduit members, who killed Leonard? Same person is about to hit you. That's some shaky aim. Withdrawal? Those empty vials tell quite a story. I better try to track her. She can't stay cloaked forever. Gotta be getting close to the end at this point. Getting exciting. All of our notes are disappearing. Puddle. Looks like Stina accidentally spilled something on the floor. Uh... Stuff's disappearing. I'm alone in. Yes, but you gotta go outside. See, what I don't get is how Steena can open doors and interact with things and not have. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And not have her cloak disappear. There we go. Ethanol, water, blue. Pain chemistry. Let's see. Traces of blue, 98.7%. Oh. I didn't realize she was going to say something. Going to match this, the chemical spell. look like anything all that yep okay so come on yep 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 stop scanning and go yeah, I'm looking for the wrong thing Matching data. Oh. Follow her. We have to save the baby. A 
think she went past. Reef, that's a huge bird. Well, scarcing. They should warn people. Guess she's going to the museum. Going to the hidden room. Yep. In the hidden room. I'm alone in here. Not Always gonna be alone forever. I don't see. It. Time to use my strength. Stina, even if you defeat me, the bureau will send everything they've got. Fuck it. <laughs> Damn you, Leonard. Trying to rationalize your own vile actions, are you? I assume you took his life. Of course I did. That brainwashed idiot forced my hand. I just wanted to steal their technology, and he decided to go on a fucking killing spree. You don't get it, Vera. We're both living on borrowed time. Blue clings on to you. You'll never be free. You'll see. The only way is to give in. And let it absorb you, consume you. The key to our full potential is right here. If you join me, I'll show you how. I'll show you everything those mindless drones at the Bureau try to hide from us. I'll only accept your surrender or defeat, Stina. <laughs> Time for you to earn your stripes then. Give it your best shot. <laughs> I'm dead. Another one bites the dust. That was not the way to do it. I don't think she'd be. No. <laughs> That's cute. You don't think I can see through it? Let's see here. All this stuff around. Yeah, I didn't think that would do anything. Nope. I'm uh, not. I don't see it. Not at the moment. Not at the moment, of course not. My service pistol. It fires convention. The battery is the limiting factor. Nope. Oh. Okay, so I got to get her firing at the gut at the thing. the baby we found the baby don't cry you're safe now <laughs> I guess this is it agent I agree those wounds look lethal I'd advise you to make your peace with the inevitable before you ask the baby is okay I'm not a fucking mm. monster. There they go again. Why'd you even bring it here? I... 
thought it would unlock this damn mainframe. Since my stupid implant didn't work, she sure had a thing for. <coughs> gotta have security all security protocols. Gotta have all you three. Can consider the case <sighs> closed. Leonard took out the conduit members. Then I put him down like the rabid dog he was. What's more important than my petty little life is what you do with what's on that computer. It contains the code to Holdra, right? A powerful AI? Well, uh, yes. Adapted oh, for a we're life. the thing that's got to plug into I it. I thought I would be the one to merge with. Okay. Stina? Now we have to decide. Or the baby. We plug the baby in. Good job, my love. She had to go. I wish I could understand what she was trying to do. We'll probably never know. No point in thinking about it. I need to gain access to the mainframe. It's the key to ending all of this. Yes. Project Holdra is in our grasp. You know what to do. Hmm. <laughs> The device reacted, but nothing happened. Yeah. He's got the other one. Give me the other one. There she we go. She had another wrist implant in her pocket. Likely Maya's. file list. Okay, play log. Holdra's kernel is functional, but all my hybrid simulations have failed. The host always suffers from massive cognitive dissonance. We're likely dealing with an interface problem. Ordinary adult augmentation simply won't provide enough bandwidth for a successful cognitive symbiosis. I've been researching prenatal augmentation, and my initial findings look promising. Synchronizing the growth of a nervous system with an early introduction of blue may be the key. A log. The young woman I have come in contact with has shown herself to be bright, dedicated, and loyal. She is willing to offer a child for our cause. The next step is to find a father, but we have to be selective. We can't risk this man exposing our activities. I also finally managed to acquire a sample of blue, but I am not proud of the things I had to do to get it. I just hope my city contact made it out alive. Well, it makes you wonder who the... We've just finished was. the work on the womb tank. I'm still skeptical about this call, but Katarina assures me she can keep him on a leash. He seems like the jumpy paranoid type. I'll play along for now, but it's likely only a matter of time before he becomes a liability. Anyway, the tank needs some further testing, but it won't be long until we can attempt an artificial insemination. And log four. While we wait for the vessel to mature, I've established a self-destruct mechanism called the Fenrir ah, Protocol. The choice. If we are ever compromised, it can be used to prevent our sacred work from falling into the wrong hands. The program will completely wipe all drives and backups. We can't risk our foes using Holdra for evil. It could well lead to the destruction of this entire planet. Good intentions could do the same thing. Ah, here's the choices. Do I activate Fenrir or do I activate Holdra? Hmm. See, I'm wondering. I'm gonna save real quick. So I've got a save right there. Because I want to see what will happen. What are the commands again? 
activate. I want to see what happens when we turn this on. Piling kernel. Uploading. Booting up BioCircuit interface. BioCircuit interface done. Attach to target host. That was this. Yes, that's it. Complete Project Holdra. I'll hook it up to the baby. Mmm. I can't connect it. She's dead. I can't connect. I can't connect. I can't connect. Oh, it's the baby. I have to use the baby. Ever since you went away, I've been lost. It's like you took a part of me with you, and it left a void. I feel your pain, darling. I'd do anything to make you whole again. I know. Blue, but it's I taking her over. This and is I'm what letting I'm it. Supposed to do. <laughs> Holder has the power to change everything. Not only for us, but for all the people out there like us. It's time to stop fighting the future. It's time to embrace it. Bring on the end of the world. Marvelous. You did it, my love. I'm so proud of you. And fade to black. Thank God, is that is that her? Is she okay? Your child is unharmed. You must be recovering fast, given your transfer here. I'm all right. The headaches are almost gone, and I'm getting my energy back. What happened to Stina? deceased i had to eliminate her well then can't say i'm sorry to see her go i took no pleasure in her death she simply left me with no choice now look at your child katarina don't you think her eyes are a captivating shade of blue <laughs> i see what you mean i'm glad she turned out that way just the way i imagined subtle Good. Now, I think you're well enough to travel. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. I'm, uh, ready to face the consequences of my actions. Mm -hmm. I'll take it from here, deputy. Open the cell, please. Uh, I wasn't informed of that, agent. I'm informing you now. I'm bringing her to the city so she can stand trial. Oh, okay. Just a moment. How much longer now? About a day's walk, at the most. And you're absolutely sure that we can trust these people? I'm sure. The robot I vouch for them. We'll be safe until my daughter is ready. And then, my love, we can finally be reunited. Listen to his voice. Dang. Whispers of a machine. Woohoo! We beat the game. Path of Freak. Which I don't remember at this point which path that was. If that was the analytical one or the empathetic one. Well. I enjoyed that. It was fun. I may go off on my own to see what the other, what the other endings are. What they entail. Or you guys can find that on YouTube. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Got a couple weeks of play out of this. And for but for a game that I got the code from, you know, from the dev till I could stream it, um, very I enjoyed it. Very much appreciative. Cool. Oh, I was I wasn't looking. What did you say, Sam Regal? I, I don't know if they've gone past his name yet. Oh, he played all of these guys. Yeah, you could tell he was the same voice for a couple of those. I forget what the deputy's name was. Oh, Carl asked, no, so no, Carl was the guy that got killed. I forget what his name was. Yep. Sorry, George, you'll have to look that up yourself. I didn't say, I didn't catch it when it went by. All right, so 
I will. Volume. What is that? There we go. All right, so I will back tomorrow for some multiplayer or something. Probably be Rimworld. We'll see. Let's talk to Ellis Mike. See what he wants to play. And maybe we'll do Endless Sky since we missed it on Endless Space. We missed that on Thursday. So thanks uh, for the hosts earlier. Thanks for people hanging out in chat. Good aim mechanic. Thank you for that raid. As always, appreciate. And now I should find someone to host. Stream Puppy app. If it will cooperate and show me people that are on there. Go ahead. Yep. So, who shall we host? Alright, now... Uh, well, I was watching this morning, and they're no longer on it. But, including the game mechanic. Bonsai? Uh, Loin's playing some RimWorld. Yep, I think. I think I'm going to. Uh, Loin. So. I'm going to cast the host for uh, Loin as soon as I go off stream here. He's playing some RimWorld right now. So thanks again for coming over and hanging out with me. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm not sure what we'll be talking about. Stay tuned for the to the Discord, which going. Oh, where there it is. There's my key button for it. So uh, thanks again for hanging out with me, and I will catch you next. Time. Bye.